What if I told you that Poop could be a superhero? Meet Herbie Allen, a man whose lifelong dedication to health not only gave him the title Perfect Poop Guy, but also saved his wife's life through one of medicine's most surprising procedures. Today, we're sitting down with Herbie to unpack his incredible journey. Let's start at the beginning. How does someone become the perfect poop guy? I had went to, after my wife had a fecal transplant and they know that she needed one, I went to a place called Cooper Digestive Health Institute. And that was in uh, Mount Laurel is where they do the substitute with the feces and put it in somebody's gut and put it in their stomach. What they did was they sent the stuff here for me to put in my bathroom. There's a special apparatus that I go to the bathroom in, my number, my number two that I go to the bathroom in. So I had that set up here and then they come and pick it up and that's how we done it. And people say, what do you do with it? Well, I put it in the, not the freezer, but the refrigerator just to save it and they come pick it up. And that's how you do it with that. The biggest thing was when I became a donor, everybody just could not believe that I was able to donate my feces in order to save people's lives. They said, oh, just, that was the biggest thing to everybody. You know, it's just, and then they all started asking me, well, what do you eat? I always start out with an apple a day. I've always done that. I, I don't know why. You know, and very important. What do I do? I peel the skin. Why do I peel the skin? There's only one reason why I peel the skin. It is because I don't want the skin to have to be digested by my gut and my stomach. I think it's too much work for my gut and stomach to digest the skin. Now, people will say skin's good for you, skin's bad. I don't know about none of that stuff. I'm only going to tell you what I do. I've always taken the apple and peeled it, and then I've had it. Nowadays, I might have an apple three or four times a week. I'm getting lazier as I get older. I have unsweetened applesauce. That's what I have in the morning, too, a lot. So it's just, I think, because I'm getting lazy. I'm getting lazy. That's what happens when you get to be almost 76. It's like, oh, okay, well, let me just get the unsweetened applesauce and have that instead of peeling my apple. But yes, I believe an apple a day is what I have. Do I have coffee? Yeah, I've had coffee. I'll have coffee in the morning. Do I use sugar? I never, never use sugar for anything. I know I've always said these things. And I keep on saying the same stuff. I never use sugar. I put ice cubes in my coffee when I have it. I would never consume anything that's hot. Never have that. Do I have any bread? No, absolutely not. What do I have is I have multi-grain healthy choice bread is what I have. That's what I have. I've had that for years and years. And what do I put on it? A lot of times, believe it or not, I've always been a firm believer in honey. I'll use that in the morning. I'll take some honey. I'll put some honey on it every once in a while. Sometimes I might use, and again, I'll tell you what I do. Sometimes I might use a, a sugar-free uh, peanut butter is what I have. Very seldom, but I prefer honey. I'll have that. Also, I have avocados in the morning. I, I believe in having a avocados in the morning. It, it, it's all this stuff is what, I mean, for, for, for years, for so many years, I used to have a, a, a can, one or two cans of albacore uh, tuna fish in water. I would have maybe one or two cans of that for lunch with a banana. And even now, today, I usually have a banana at 5 o'clock. Every day I usually have a banana at 5. I have a banana at 5. I, I, I still believe in them. Uh, it's just certain food. And when you, we're going to start doing this more. We're going to start coming out with more videos. We're going to see how this works. Then I'm going to get down to the, and tell you exactly what I eat. And exactly what I would never eat. Let's, first of all, you want to only want to eat perfect foods. Let, let me give you one example of what I'm talking about. Everybody loves to sit down and chew nuts 
eat nuts, eat cashews or whatever you call them, and go to this bar or whatever, which I've never been, you know, and, and order. Okay, let me tell you something about nuts. This is how I eat my nuts. I've always eat my nuts this way. There's only two kinds of nuts to eat. I don't care what anybody says, whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong. I'm telling you what I believe. There's only two kinds of nuts that I eat. Almonds and walnuts. They're the only two kinds. And I don't really eat them. I don't chew them. What I do with them is I put them in a blender. And I get them all blended up like baby powder. So my nuts are baby powder. Usually, like this morning, I had three tablespoons of almonds. It's like baby powder. My biggest thing is no working on my stomach. I don't have to chew nuts. As we all know, you admit to me, you chew a nut... Half of them are going down unchewed, half of them going down chewed. We all know that. Any smart person knows that. All my nuts go down like baby powder. My stomach has, again, zero work to do to digest my nuts in the morning. There's a video that I did. It's funny. It was a, I did one TikTok video. I think I'm going to start doing more of them. Because unbeknown to me, it had tens and thousands and thousands of views... And I only did it as a, somebody wanted me to do one. And I said, oh, okay, I didn't even see it. But they said to me, it's 10 and 10,000 of views on how you, I don't even know the title of it, how you make nuts, how you do the nuts. But it's me showing you how you do the nuts. There are only two kinds to eat. Put them in a blender, make them into a powder form, digest them that way. Your stomach, your gut leads you to your whole body. Your wellness for your whole body is what this lead you to right right here so the least amount of work that this has the better that you're going to feel the better that you're going to be so that is what i always think about anytime that i ever have anything consume everything first of all you only want to eat perfect food anyway N never eat fried food never eat all this stuff that's no good for you it just tastes good but when you get older you start looking at yourself it's like oh my goodness i shouldn't have done that you know what i'm saying like the most important thing to have is you should have, again, check with your doctor. Check with your dietitian. They'll tell you all the things that you should have. But I'm telling you, from my standpoint of view, again, perfect poop guy. Sweet potatoes. That's what you want to have. I wouldn't eat a nice big white potato with a bunch of butter on it. That is not me. I eat a sweet potato, and I put some virgin olive oil on it. That's how I eat my sweet potatoes. They're the best thing to eat. And again, I know a lot of people, I'll tell you these kind of things. So when you eat rice, what's the best kind of rice to eat? Brown rice. Brown rice is the best kind of rice to eat. Always remember that, brown rice. I love to eat broccoli. I love to eat spinach, whole grain, kale, lettuce. I'll have chicken breast. I mean, things like that is what you want to have. And it's just, it's a way of life. It, it, it's just, even like with your tomatoes. Somebody says to me, well, how about your tomatoes? I would never eat a tomato with a skin on it because that's too much work, again, for your stomach. Think of your stomach first, not your, your taste buds. Don't think about that. Think of your stomach first. How can I make my stomach do less work? Well, they don't need to be digesting a skin on a tomato. To me, that's useless. Tomato is what's good. The skin, and I'm not going to get into what other people say. I'm not in here to say, this guy's right, this woman's right. or I'm not in to say none of that. What I'm here to do for you is to start making videos for your questions to tell you how I obtained perfect poop. That's what I'm here to tell you. 